Hey guys, what's up? This is T-Bones Tech. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to keep your SD cards safe. Now, this all depends on many situations. Some people use SD cards just for actual memory instead of USB thumb drives, if their computers have it that way. Um, or tons of people use uh, SD cards not just for photos, but for information, um, files, and tons of different things. Because you can get them at a real cheap price. Um, so number one is, a lot of people do not know this, but there's actually a lock on uh, an SD card. And a lot of people might see it, uh, but might notice it, but uh, don't even pay any attention to it. So all you do is you just grab it and then pull it down. So now I'm just going to zoom up on that and uh, show you guys one that has it up. And then show you guys how it does not work on... Um, how it won't go into a computer or anything like that. So as you guys can see right here, really, it's really hard and out of focus, but uh, you guys can see it's all the way at the end of this card right here. And then this one, it is all the way at the bottom. Now when it is at the bottom position, most memory cards say something like lock on it, like this one does right here. And sorry guys for the out of focus camera. But uh, with the lighting, it's really hard for it to uh, focus on this. Um, but most of them say lock. Uh, so with it on the locked position, um, you will not... Sorry for the camera. Uh, if with it on the locked position, you cannot get it in a uh, card reader and it won't, it won't read. So I'm just going to demonstrate that right now. So I have my iPad right here. And I'm just going to um, put it in like this. And then push, and um, as you guys can see, I'm pushing pretty hard. And then I'm just going to plug it into the iPad right here. And uh, again, sorry for the steady uh, camera work because I do not have my tripod with me. And I'm going to push again, and as you guys see, it will not work. So I'm just going to pull it out of there, and I'm going to flip it up just like that. And it made it snap, so I know that it's up now. And I'm just going to put it in the iPad. And right now, as you guys can see, it is working. Um, uh, and it works perfectly fine. But with it on the walked position, it will not work. So that is also another thing. So I definitely recommend um, if you guys have any files uh, that you guys want to keep safe. Because I'm assuming that's the reason you came to this video. Or something like that. Uh, you want to push it down. All the way down. Uh, it's like a usually different color. Uh, this one is uh, happens to be gray. And this one you might be able to see a little bit better. Uh, this is a white, a white card. And as you guys can see, this is on the bottom position. Um, and you can flip it to the top right here. So but remember, bottom is locked and most cards say that. Um, and a lot of people don't actually realize or care about that. But it actually does help. So if there's any, um, if you don't, if you have like some information or photos here that you don't want to get deleted and a kid uh, plugs it in to a computer or something like that, um, and then just yanks it out, or you do that by accident, or you don't want someone to uh, access it easily. And I've actually thrown many of my friends off uh, by uh, putting my cards in that, and they kind of like freak out because they have no clue uh, what is happening. Okay, guys. So for this uh, next tip, it's it's not really a tech tip that has to do with the drives at all. It's more of a uh, a thinking tip. If you guys have photos or videos or something on these uh, uh, memory cards that you don't want other people to see, um, then you are definitely going to uh, want to keep it separate from the camera. You're going to have at least one or two, but most people have one or two uh, SD cards anyways. But like I said, you're going to want them to keep them separate from the camera. And even, this also helps if um, you just have some uh, just regular photos on there and... Um, I guess uh, your house gets broken into and you have a nice camera and they steal your camera. Well, where's your memory cards going to be in? They're going to be in your camera case um, and stuff like that. And a lot of people uh, get a lot of uh, priceless photos uh, taken away from them uh, for if your house gets broken into or whatever. So you definitely want to keep them separate. So my advice is put them in a book, in a bookshelf, like a, a certain book that you know, in a bookshelf and, you know, no one's going to find it. And, uh, because these actually are not expensive at all. It's like $10, like $5, um, 16 gigabyte, which I'm actually uh, recording this video with, is like $15. They're very cheap, so people aren't necessarily wanting to steal them. They're going to want to steal the camera. Not going to actually go and want to steal the card, so they're going to look around like that. And even if they do, it's not that big of a deal. So, but this also does help it to keep secure. Um, 
And like I said, again, if it does get stolen, though, when it's in the lock position, a lot of people do not know how to unlock that, and they just put it in, they think the card's just crap or junk, um, and I found that out from experience, or I just have a bunch of dumb friends. Okay, so the last one here is, um, you can encrypt it if you have a Mac, and I think there's another way for PC, but I don't know, I don't really like PC. Um, but if you guys have a Mac, you guys can encrypt it very easily, and which that does is put a, uh, a passcode lock on the file, and of course you guys can do that with uh, USB drives or uh, whatever you guys choose, um, pretty much any hardware, even external hard drives and stuff like that. But you guys can set a lock on that to make it 100% secure. So those are my tips for today. If there's other ways, um, tell me, leave a comment down below that you guys do. Um, and like I said, this is for like uh, document files and I guess even photos if you guys have any of those. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button down below. It helps me a lot and helps me uh, make more videos, I guess, and shows you guys my su shows your support to this channel. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace out.